What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm cruising social media today and I see something really interesting from Harley Davidson. They have announced a new enthusiast collection. Now, per Harley's website, the Enthusiast Collection is an ongoing collection of Harley Davidson motorcycles inspired by our community of passionate riders. The Enthusiast Collection celebrates the diversity of our community and the unique backgrounds and interests of the people within it. Launched annually, each series pays tribute to a subset of our broader community of riders available in limited quantities across a selection of models. Now, with that announcement, they gave us our first two bikes which are part of the 2022 GI Enthusiast Collection. The GI Enthusiast Collection was done to honor the people that have served in the armed forces. As a big military supporter myself, I'm proud of Harley Davidson for stepping up and honoring those people. Now you'll see that they gave us two bikes for this series, the Pan America Special and the Tri-Glide. Now at first glance, the Pan America Special made sense. It's an off-road bike, kind of that rugged look, kind of fits that military vibe. The Tri-Glide didn't make sense to me at first. However, I thought about the people that I had sold Tri-Glides to when I was in sales, and a lot of them were military veterans that were just getting a little bit older and couldn't really hold up the weight of their motorcycles anymore, so they're switching to three wheels. So I think Harley did a good job in putting this paint scheme on these two bikes. Now, if you're feeling like you've seen this before, there's good reason for that. In 2015, Harley did a soft tail slim model in what they called olive gold that looked very similar to this. Different green, but still a matte finish, still had the big star on the tank. And I can already hear people's comments. Typical Harley Davidson taking one of their old ideas, rebranding it, and trying to pretend it's new. I hear you, and I do get that point. However, that was a really good selling paint scheme for Harley Davidson. And the fact that these new bikes are very limited edition, I have no doubt that they will sell great as well. Now, I am very curious to see what else comes out of this enthusiast collection, but I'm also more curious about what's next in the Icon collection. You know, we got the revival last year, 1,500 of them made. They're supposed to do one to two bikes every year is what Harley said. I've yet to hear a single word about the next Icon bike. However, I did predict that it was going to be a Sportster model only because the conventional Evo Sportster, as we know it, will be going away. And I thought that would be a fantastic send-off. If Harley doesn't do that, I think they missed out on a big opportunity. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think the next Icon series bike is? But also let me know what you think about these enthusiast bikes. You like the paint scheme, you don't like it, let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.